Next, so the next drug is methacholine, and it is M2 uh, specific by Ox Methbeth, and it has also very little action on M3 receptor as well, and it is used to diagnose a condition uh, called hyperreactive bronchial tree. And this, the patient is asked to inhale uh, methacholine so that it will go to the trachea and finally the bronchial smooth muscles. And smooth muscles are having M3 receptors, right? So, if suppose this is the trachea, here are your lungs, and here are the bronchial smooth muscles and smooth muscles are having m3 receptors although the affinity for uh, m3 receptor of methacholine is very less but the patient having hyperreactive bronchial tree will undergo bronchospasm even by the small affinity of the methacholine if the patient inhales methacholine and if the patient is having severe bronchospasm that means the patient is having hyperreactive bronchial tree it is just a diagnostic tool uh, whether the patient is having hyperreactive bronchial tree or not. Of course, you do this test whenever bronchodilators are available to you. The next drug is uh, Carbacol. We don't have much about Carbacol because of its uh, stimulatory and depressing action. It is not used uh, systematically. Uh, it shows stimulatory as well as depressing action. First of all, it will show increase in heart rate and then decreasing heart rate. If, uh, if, if it is acting on CNS, it would first of all uh, show enhancing activity in the CNS than depressing activity. So it is not used systematically, but uh, it is used as eye drop in some condition, uh, in condition like glaucoma as a myotic. Uh, when there is myosis, uh, along with it will also, uh, along with myosin, it will also contract cilia. So there is uh, also a condition called cyclospasticity, along with uh, contraction of uh, contractor pupillae, it will also contract cilia. Uh, once the cilia is are uh, in contracted state, it will uh, exert attraction over the trabecular meshwork see whenever the ciliaries are contracted it will uh, put attraction over the these are the trabecular meshwork which are the drainage for aqueous humor it will put attraction over the trabecular meshwork and it they will open up and so that the aqueous humor can pass the trabecular meshwork at the top they will do meiosis so there is no accumulation of iris near the trabecular meshwork and they are going away from the trabecular meshwork and this is also the way which provides the traction to the trabecular meshwork so resulting in decreasing intraocular pressure this is the one way why uh, carbacol is used as eye drop in glaucoma Thank you.